Hey there everyone, Muckluck Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquire the Fourth here, and this is a guide on how to min-max your gathering tools in Guild Wars 2. I imagine most of you are thinking, wait, what? You can do that? Yup. There are a few layers to your gathering tools. The first one is the quality of the tool. Copper, iron, steel, mithril, orichalcum, and unbreakable tools. Each quality of tool can only harvest materials of its tier or below, and eventually everyone ends up using orichalcum tools, which are capable of harvesting everything. An unbreakable tool is obtained through a few means in the game, such as using black lion statuettes or the gem store. Any fancy gathering tool obtained from the gem store is unbreakable unbreakable by default, but will also have some extra characteristics or a special graphic. The second and third layers of a gathering tool are often confused. The second layer is the graphic or the animation. For example, if I buy a volatile magic gathering tool which harvests volatile magic with every strike, it looks like this. However, if I remove the volatile glyph so that it no longer harvests volatile magic, it still looks like this. The graphic or animation there is what I am referring to. The next logical question would be, Muck, what does the graphic matter for min-maxing? Well, the graphics of some of the gathering tools have some curious anomalies, and some of them are much faster than others because of this. Take, for example, the fused molten sickle. It gathers in about one second instead of the usual two seconds of other unbreakable gathering tools. Additionally, it gathers the item when the casting bar is at about 75%, so you can interrupt yourself and just walk off after you are three quarters of the way through the bar and still get the item. So if I take my gathering tool, like my volatile magic gathering tool here, and I transmute it to use the graphic of the fused molten sickle, yes, you can transmute gathering tools, just like armor, it now harvests over twice as fast. If you are ever considering purchasing an unbreakable gathering tool from the gem store of any kind, I strongly encourage you to slash wiki that item and look for anomalies on the wiki page. For example, the Consortium Harvesting Sickle harvests twice as fast. The Glitter Bomb Harvesting Tool actually harvests slower unless you interrupt yourself. And there are many more. What I consider to be the third layer of a harvesting tool is the glyph. This part is the easiest to explain because the glyph does exactly what it says it does. In my earlier example, the glyph of volatility gives you volatile magic with every strike. It is good to know that you can trade glyphs, which means you can buy or sell them from other players if they have never been bound to anyone. Once they're bound, you cannot trade them anymore. So to recap, Get yourself an unbreakable gathering tool. These are sometimes available in the Black Line Statuette vendors. At the time of recording this, we've got the Minertron, Logertron, and Reapertron visible right here. These are unbreakable. However, their graphics have no special anomalies. Then transmute it to a graphic with a sweet anomaly. If you are getting something off the gem store that already has a unique graphic, wiki it before you buy it to see if it has any interesting effects. Put a profitable glyph on it. At the time of recording this, the most profitable glyph is the Glyph of Volatility, that yields volatile magic. However, there is a wonderful web resource that allows you to compare them on the Fast Farming Community's website. I'll have a link for them in the description. An additional tip about these items, if you get yourself your first set of unbreakable tools and you swap characters a lot, keep them in the shared account slots up here. Equip them when you log in, unequip them when you log out. Once you build that small habit, you can access them from every character on your account. And one final tip related to this topic, I strongly recommend using the show all usable object names. By keeping this setting turned on, you can see gathering nodes from very far away. That's all the tips I have today on min-maxing your gathering tools. If you know anything I missed here, please feel free to drop it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button to help us out with the YouTube algorithm, and subscribe to see more similar content. Happy harvesting!